Hey everyone, it's Diecast here from Radio Free Cybertron and uh, just bringing you a quick preview of the Fans Toys uh, Grenadier, which is their not bombshell, thanks to Egibus.com uh, here at BotCon across the street at their, their dealer room. Uh, really nice setup, looks really good. Uh, they have a couple of uh, preview figures here. This is actually a painted prototype. And my first impression on this thing is it's super heavy. It feels very high quality. We'll just spin him around. Unfortunately, I can't transform him, but I did want to give you guys a quick look. There's the back. You can see the, how the legs fold onto the back. And uh, the back legs actually become heel spurs, which is really nice. Um, as far as articulation goes, he's got the uh, upper thigh swivel, goes out about that far, go forward and back, and I'm not gonna not gonna move those. They don't seem to want to move. So, like I said, it is just a prototype, not even a test shot. So this is a very early look at this figure goes a little bit forward too. You can go at least 90 degrees back. Even the foot right here has a little bit of front tilt, or the toe actually, I guess you would call that, with ankle tilts. Um, the head is on a ball joint. Very nice. Arms have a hinge here, and you can also slide it up just a little bit up closer to his shoulder for even more rotation. Got the swivel up at the upper arm, and the double hinge elbow, which again, it feels a little bit tight and I don't want to force it. Hands are on a single pin for the fingers and the thumb. Then you can see his gun on the side here. Nice chrome representation of it. Um, it's super impressive in person. I'm really excited for this guy. You can see the spot here for the Autobot logo. I'm not going to go over the paint apps too much because it, it should be similar um, because he doesn't need a lot of paint apps. But the chest does open up. I'm not going to open that up. But uh, Fans Toys is really hitting it out of the park, and this guy looks amazing. So let's go ahead, and we're going to zoom in a little bit just to give you a better look at the face sculpt on him. Really nice. Fans Toys, in my opinion, has been the third-party company, one of the third-party companies to beat, if not the third-party company to beat. Just really nice. Go to the back side again. And see, he's even though he's heavy, his feet with the uh, with the actual legs helping to support him, he is super solid. Definitely not going to fall over, and you're going to be able to get him into a lot of nice poses. Uh, does also have a waist rotation that I'm not going to do. Anything that feels a little stiff, I'm just not forcing it. But you can see, you can get him in some really awesome poses. And uh, yeah, I can't wait till this figure comes out. This thing is going to be amazing. So want to thank you again to uh, Agabus for letting me take a look at this and thanks to Fans Toys and uh, make sure to check out agabus.com, their website and uh, check out Radio Free Cybertron and we'll see you next time.